Now, we, uh, speaking of gay, uh, the Catholic Church, the, the Vatican, there's this new story that broke today from uh, Salon had the article originally, and actually, I'm not sure if it was ProPublica or another place had it as well, but uh, the Vatican plays landlord now to Europe's biggest gay bathhouse. No, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome article. So the Catholic Church paid $30 million to acquire a building that houses a senior cardinal and the biggest gay sauna in Europe. <laughs> That's hilarious. So they just bought it on Tuesday, and there are 18 other Vatican apartments on that same block, many of which house priests. And I want to read you a quote from the article, because it gets super weird. Quote, the Europe multi-club appears game to engage with their neighbors at, hold, at the Holy See, or at least content to, to mess with them. The club hosts a weekly bear night featuring Bruno, a hairy, overweight pastor of souls, who, dressed in Catholic vestments, is free to the music of his clergyman remaining in a thong because he wants to expose body and soul according to The Independent. Bear Night also features a buffet because exposing one's body and soul works up an appetite. So listen, think about this. So all the while the Vatican's walking around bashing gays, right? They acquire a gay bathhouse. Now they pretend like, no, 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 it's not because the gay bathhouse is there, it's because the, the, a cardinal lives in the same building. Yeah, but why does that cardinal live in that building? Has that crossed your mind? And by the way, the cardinal, is one of the most virulently anti-gay uh, uh, Catholics that's out there. Even according to the church, internally they say, God damn, he's anti-gay. So why are you living in a gay bathhouse? Look, they're, they're, they are a walking parody. They're grown men wearing dresses all the while waving their finger at gay, saying, how dare you be feminine? What are you going to do with these people, man? Look, I'll say it one more time for those of you who might be first-time listeners to the show. If you haven't, bear with me. You've heard this story a trillion times, but it's hilarious every time I tell it, I make myself laugh. Look, they've done studies on this. So people who are homophobic are more likely to be gay. Now, they hooked electrodes up to guys' penises after gauging their level of homophobia, right? And the ones who were openly homophobic were more likely to get aroused when gay porn was on TV. Look, that's it. I, there, I don't need any more evidence. I'm done. If you are against gay marriage, I'm going to assume the default position is going to be gay until proven otherwise. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm a believer in empiricism. I believe in evidence. And the evidence says that, so therefore, you're gay until proven otherwise. But the Catholic Church, man, what are you going to do with these guys? Next, they're going to buy, like, uh, Playgirl magazine and say, no, 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 we're not doing it because we're gay. We're doing it uh, because there was a cardinal on page 7B. 